Hi guys, Lara Summers here. You can call me Lara, you can call me Summers, or even Summer, because I sometimes call myself Summer. So I will accept any of the three, all right? Let's start today off with, what is trading psychology? If you want to become a better trader, you need to master trading psychology. Why? Because trading psychology deals with the mental and emotional states, the behavior and mindset in trading, as well as the discipline and risk taking actions. With all of that being said, you can start to see why everything you put into a trade is very important. How you feel, how you act, how you react, how you behave, before, during, and after a trade. All of that makes up trading psychology, which will of course affect your trading, okay? Always remember that your mind plays a big role in your long-term trading success, okay? Now moving on to the two big emotions in trading, which are greed and fear. Don't mind these two, I will explain later, okay? Greed. Greed can make a trader stay in a position for too long just to try to make the most out of it. But greed is also a very powerful motivator, right? Because it motivates traders to take risky actions or risky positions. Fear, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Fear is the reason why people cut their losses too early and avoid taking on extra risk. Now, why are these two important? Because as a trader, we are affected by these two the most. So what do we have to do? We have to learn how to balance these out, okay? I'm gonna talk about fear just a tad bit more, okay? Because fear is a very tricky emotion. Starting off with fear of failure. This is pretty common. We all wanna succeed, we all wanna be praised for our efforts. But this sometimes can add some performance pressure onto our trading game. Okay, next up is fear of success. You may ask me, why would I have a fear of succeeding if I want to become successful, right? I want that. Great question. Fear of success is something that is much, much deeper. It is ingrained into our subconscious mind, okay? You may not know it, but you might be afraid that you lose friends if you outshine them, or that maybe you were taught as a child that success can bring in jealous and dishonest people into your life, right? And of course we don't want that. This is something that we have to look within and work on, okay? Now, as a trader, you might hear experienced traders like Mr. Black Sheep himself say that, take your emotions out of trading. You know, trade like a robot, don't feel anything, which is pretty hard. I think most of us physically cannot do that, which is okay. We just have to learn how to balance these out, right? We have to learn how to balance these emotions. So how do we do that? Okay, first of all, I want you to be crystal clear about your intentions going into a trade, okay? For example, I am expecting the market to go up. So I want to buy but I will only buy if it reaches a certain price level. If it doesn't, then I will let it go. I will not do anything. I will not chase it, okay? This is how I set my intentions before I trade. Second, take a moment to examine your mind for the day. Examine how you feel. When you wake up, examine that. Are you happy? Are you restless? Are you moody? Examine your mind before you dive into the market and your account will thank you for it, okay? So before I end this video, I want you to observe your emotions during trading before and after also and let me know about it, okay? Let's talk about it. I hope you have an amazing day ahead, okay? Thank you for listening. I also hope you learned something today.